Hi, this is Steve with Comprise, and I want to talk to you about Comprise Intelligent Data Management for Azure. As you may know, Comprise is part of the Azure Data Migration Program, but Comprise is far more than a simple data migration tool. Comprise begins by helping you understand exactly what your data is so you can make the best decisions as you move to the cloud with Microsoft Azure. We let you see your data wherever it is, we help you understand it, and understand its usage patterns. Um, here I'm showing you know, the different types of data that I have, and then I can also create a plan that will help you move your data to Microsoft Azure, and we can help you understand the implications of moving your data through cost analysis. If we decide to move data more aggressively, um, we can show you the data growth and cost over time. We have a feature called Deep Analytics, which helps you dive even further into your data. Line of business owners can create intelligent queries to help them find their data that can then identify what should be moved to Microsoft Azure. Now that we understand our data, let's see how easy it is to set up migration. Come to our Migration tab, click Add Migration. We'll select our source. In this case, it's going to be my Windows 2016 server. I'm going to move files from my home share. Uh, we also have the option to do this just by directory if we want to get a little more granular. Click Next to select our destination. I'm going to click Azure Files. I'm going to use my Comp SMB share as my destination. Click Next. We can give it a friendly name and then click Next to start. Um, it'll ask if we want to preserve our access time on the destination or in our ACLs. Uh, with my lab, it's part of my Windows Active Directory domain, so everything's going to come across seamlessly. And once that's all set, click Next. It'll give us a summary of what's going to do, and we can click Start Migration. Now what Comprise will do is run multiple iterations to move as much of your data it can in each chunk. Comprise can manage hundreds of migrations um, simultaneously. Um, as the data is moved, you may encounter errors like locked files or permission issues. We'll give you a granular audit log to help you know what you need to correct. And then when it comes time for that final migration, what you'll do is set your source to read only. You'll have just a very small window of data that you need to move over, and that way you can do it with minimal disruption to your users. So a unique feature of Comprise is something we call Transparent Move Technology, or TMT. Comprise has the ability to use all of the storage classes on Microsoft Azure, file and blob. We can move file to file, we can move file to blob, and we can also do things like move S3 to blob as well. So one very popular feature is this ability to transparently tier. So we can look for older files um, on our Windows shares, on NFS shares, transparently move them to Azure Blob, leave behind an industry standard symbolic link and provide transparent access to that. And you can see how much it saves our customers. So what I wanna show you now is a plan that I've set up to tier older data to Azure Blob. In this case, I'm looking at one of my shares. I'm looking for files that haven't been accessed for over a year. We can also do things like set up exclusions. In this case, I don't wanna move files that are smaller than eight kilobytes. And my target is going to be my Azure Blob store on my Comprise Lab. So popping over to my Windows desktop, I can see that my files appear to still be in place. They've been replaced with a shortcut link. If I right click one of these and choose properties, I can see that it actually points to what we call a comprise access address that provides seamless access to that file. And if I click one of these, I'll pick a picture of my dog here. You can see it works just as if that file was local. The next critical thing about the way comprise handles your data is we always preserve it in its native format. That means you're never locked in. So as I was tiering these files from an SMB share to Azure Blob, you can see here in my container, they're in the same native format. That means that picture of my dog that I was able to access through my desktop, I can also access it here in the cloud. One last feature I wanna show you is our ability to use our comprised deep analytics to copy data out to the cloud for AI and ML services. There's an amazing amount of data services that you can use in Azure. The trick is finding just the right data set to get it out there. So in this case, uh, we've created that global file index across all of our data, and I've created a query called SMB and NFS project CSV. So I'm looking for a very specific set of data on two shares. So in this case, I'm pulling data from an NFS share on an Ubuntu server and from an SMB share on my Windows server. And then I only want to see CSV files, and then I'm going to copy them out to the cloud. This is systematic and automated. As new files are added to those shares, they'll automatically be moved out to Azure. So let's look at how we set this up. If we come over to my plan tab, you can see I've got a group here called Deep Analytics Actions for Copy. I'm using that query that I just showed you, looking again only for CSV files, and my target is Azure Blob. So let's pop over to my Azure portal, and you can now see that I've moved these files over to the cloud. This means I can now get more value from my data by using 
Azure Analytics. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'm excited to help you unlock the power of your data in Microsoft Azure.